surprised you'd look at it. It was also the big city next to San Francisco. I mean, it's almost a million people. It's bigger than San Francisco. Berkeley is the university. Mm -hmm. So you have the political correctness, and then you have funky Oakland. And well, I do uh, that every time. Oakland is far more interesting than Berkeley right now. Why is it more interesting than Berkeley? Because Berkeley at that point had become too politically mm -hmm. correct. And political correctness only goes so far. So black kids hanging out with a white kid is still problematic. In Oakland, it's really problematic. Why is that? Because the race relations are so tense. What, what do you think has led to the I would in say Berkeley? income inequality. And that is prevalent in Berkeley. It's huge. There, there's no uh, low-income housing. It seems as though, I mean, we talk about black communities here in mm -hmm. the Bay Area, they're all... They're all being marginalized in a huge way. I mean, you have met plenty of middle class blacks, upper middle class blacks. You've got the education is really, you know, bringing everyone up. But uh, but not everyone gets to education, <laughs> and, uh, so that's why Black Lives does matter. Yeah. We're in Mountain View, California, which is known as the home place of Google. And we're at the Shoreline Amphitheater, where tonight g -Eazy is going to be doing a show. It's a big homecoming performance for his endless summer tour. And behind me, he's doing a meet and greet with a bunch of eager fans. And we're going to be talking to g -Eazy in just a little bit. No shortcuts, there ain't no cheese there. I brought the whole city out like a street fair. Yeah. Get on the coldest white rapper in the game since the one with the bleach there. And enjoy this like Bay Area culture, but it's like what's gonna be left when, <sighs> when you're in there is too long, you just and pushes everything that you no know, but things you just out. can't do we anymore. Yeah. Like, and we just got rolled up on. Has that sort of thing ever happened to you and your friends? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. <laughs> like, we'll be smoking weed or chilling or doing nothing. Oh you know what I'm saying? And just be bothered. So you've had each other. You know, I, I got in some trouble. Like, I was, I've done some bad shit. One night, it was me and my homie, and we went out and ran up on somebody, hit him, ran his pockets, you know, and then ran away. You know what I'm saying? And we ended up getting caught. I went to Juvie for like a month. I was like, shit. I'm trying like, to put his watch on this for cool. Being away minutes, from making so. music and being so. away from, you know, my homies and, you know, everything. I was on ankle monitor for six months after that. People who have not sort of reached your level of success, the friends you have here in the Bay, are, are they still in Oakland? Are they still huh. in Berkeley? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All my friends are Five still minutes here. Later. But it's like, you hear these stories about places even with rent control. You know what I'm saying? Like, landlords finding ways to, like, you know, maneuver and wiggle and get you. Every time I come to Starbucks, it's literally always a line. I mean, I see why it's so good. Like, duh. But, dang. Want a hot cocoa today? With hazelnut, because hazelnut is amazing, and I want some. Hi, what can I get started for you? Hello, can I get a hot chocolate, please? Yeah, what size? Can I get a venti? Okay, anything else for you? And can I add hazelnut to that, please? And do you have any bags of the butter popcorn? Um, let me check for you real quick. Uh, yes, we do. Can I have one of those as well, please? Yeah, can I get you anything else? Nope, that'll be it. All right, we'll see you up at the window. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so ready to start it all. sick yesterday. I was so mad. I was so sick yesterday. That's why I look like poo today. Look at my skin. My skin is not glowing today. She not. She not. Period. 
But it's okay. It's going to take me a couple of days to get back, right? But shout out to those who have celiac. Celiac gang. No. It's not fun. <laughs> but team, team celiac, team gluten free. Okay. My lips look very plump today, though. Everybody be asking me, what do you put on your lips? Lip liner. Carmax. Is that? <laughs> no, but for real. I use CoverGirl. It's like sweet wine or somebody wine, somebody fine wine. I don't know, but it's by Curver Girl. And then I just use regular Carmax, like Carmax. <laughs> they don't even sell the ones with flavor. Like I haven't seen it in forever. So actually, I should write Starbucks and let them know. Period. Okay. Then I need to go to Burlington when I leave here. Because I gotta go get some toothpaste. Let me tell you why I got sick. So I changed to gluten free. Um what was I just talking about toothpaste? Like a couple months ago and my what is that more? And my headaches have like definitely died down like 98%. And the last three days I had ran out and I forgot and I had to go to work yesterday. Well, last three days and I had to go to a meeting. So your girl was busy, okay, period poo. And your girl got sick at work. I was just throwing up for like six hours. And then I had to sleep in my car because I couldn't drive myself home. I was sleeping in my car, I think, for like four hours, and it was cold. Thank God my nephew blanket and pillow would happen to be in my backseat. Girl, bye. Snuggle, dup, dup, dup. Okay. Snuggle, dup. So. So now I'm up. In the morning, it's, what time is it? 11. It's 11. I'm getting me some hot cocoa. I have to run some errands. I really need to go to Saginaw Valley. Because, um, well, I have my bachelor's degree, but I work at Hooters and it's not getting me nowhere. So, at this point, your girl might as well just go back to school and get her master's at this point. <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting any more money, so I might as well add to my fucking debt and get my master's. Maybe that'll work. Okay? My phone's fucking. Let me get a charger. Mom broke my charger. Thanks, mom. But anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do.